morning. Today we're starting off coming over to the house site. We've got some things happening over here. We've got an uh, in-floor heat guy, we've got the contractors here, and I'm meeting a septic guy here to do a soil sample. And then we're gonna do some field tiling. I'm just getting over here to the tile site. Dad, BJ, and Brad have been over here. Haven't put any pipe in the ground. Looks like BJ pre-ripped. We're doing an eight inch main right off the rip. So we gotta get that in the ground. And then after that, we are gonna start running laterals. So looks like they got the boot put on while I was going. So this cornfield that we are standing in, or sitting in, or what do you want to call it, last year only averaged 94 bushels per acre. There's 37 acres on this cornfield. Now there's a few factors at work here. One, this is not the greatest dirt in the world. This is a lot of clay in this dirt, but that said, the field right beside it made 202. So why did it make that such low yield? There's no tile in this field and everything drowned it out. There's a couple farming errors on our part also. We should have replanted this field and we did not. But had it had tile in it, we would probably, we would have had to replant some of it, but it would have been much better, I guess is what I'm saying here. So that is part of the reason why we do this. We put tile in ground that is wet, helps drain that ground. Too much water is a bad thing. Not enough water is a bad thing, but too much water can also be a bad thing. So the other day we had some wind blow some pipe away from us, and some of the pipe that blew away was the pipe that we're going after, the eight inch main. So luckily it didn't blow away far, and we got it before it crossed the highway. So these are eight inch pipes. These are gonna be our mains. Basically this pipe will run one direction, draining into a ditch. And then our laterals, which are these four inch pipes, will all be draining into that main. You see how good Brad is at backing up the Massey. So this is our stringer cart. Very important piece of gear, makes this go a lot smoother. So right now we gotta get the top wheel off of here. Whoa! Upside down, but that's all right. That whole roll is being used, so. Got it. Hey, we tie them. There's the main we pulled in last year. Look at it, still flowing water. Goes right up through there, and there's laterals going this way. So this year, we're gonna have laterals going this way, all down through there. They're pre-stringing right now. He'll run that whole roll out, go get the other one. I don't think we have quite enough on that roll. And then we will uh, you know, start plowing. It did. Oh, no, we did Oh, I can take the joint, is it? We... Yeah, you want to take the other well, yeah, get it, yeah. Take the joint. So it's in there now. I'll leave this here. Found a mouse. He tried to climb my boots. say it's hard being this ugly. See, you people on the internet think you have to tell us things like that. <laughs> you, you act like we don't already know. Apparently my rock store is too tall for everybody. No clutch in this one. So you can see the stringer card in action. Now, if you've never 
bent around the string cart or tile. Without a string cart, it is incredibly hard to unroll a, a hundred foot roll tile even and get everything turned the right way and get everything from kinking up and makes life a lot easier. Before we were doing a lot of tile work, we just used hundred foot rolls and did it by hand and it sucks. Go time. So I think everything is finally ready to roll. So when he takes off, I've got to hold this pipe down until he gets some dirt covering it. We don't want to, we don't want this thing to move very far. Now once a little bit of dirt covers it, it's, it's in there. So that's not very deep right here because we're in a low spot, but when he gets a little ways up there, that pipe is going to be right at four and a half feet deep, which is about as deep as we've ever plowed pipe in. Yankum code BFV get you a discount on your on your Yankum rope. shows just how dry we were last fall because this would have been a real pain in the butt to get the tile plow all the way up to the end with no pull tractor. Now he is slipping a little bit but really for tugging an eight inch boot through the ground not near as bad as I suspected. And we're out. And he's a little bit in the ditch. You could have went another foot, maybe even two. You brought boots? I'll, I keep those in the cab as a reminder how the other half is living. <laughs> so right now BJ is surveying. So what he is doing, actually he's marking an old main and then we're going to move 40 feet off of that old main for our laterals. But when I say surveying, he's basically going to be backing up to this main driving forward straight forward that way he can get a grade kind of a elevation check of the of the, the way the lay, lay of the land that way that plow knows what to do at what point and then depending on how wet it is he might pre-rip he might not some of this probably won't need it some of it probably will he might just pre-rip just because he's gonna have a lot of time we have to change the boots still brad and dad just took the rest of that eight inch pipe out of here they're taking it back to the bins because there's no more eight inch on this job site so they're just gonna drop it and bring back one of the rolls of four inches over there. And then uh, we're gonna grab us a hot dog and swap that boot out and hopefully put in a few laterals. Probably not gonna get a whole lot of laterals done today, but these laterals are very long. So each one of these laterals is about 3,000 feet, I believe, or 1,800 feet maybe, something like that. So even if we only get four or five, you know, for the start we've had and putting in a main, not a bad day. 
You've ate a box of donuts, you're taking a bag of Doritos. All of that in that cab, huh? It's a box of hot dogs. That's a donut box. It's okay, you can get hurt now. All at once. Man, we probably ought to go help him, but this is a lot more entertaining. We just took off. Yeah. Oh, it's the bottom side of it. Okay. What's so shit about this? You did real good. Okay, everybody, on three. Job! Yay! Yeah. You gonna grab that too, BJ? Yeah. On three. All together now. That plow's knocking. Now, if BJ had pulled this thing out of the dirt, we would have a lot cleaner work environment. Safety line. Hey, this ain't that unsafe. So we're going to wait on Brad to get done. You don't need a sick guy in the end of the day. Most important, though, BJ might have chuck a pipe to the head earlier. some start holes. So we are going to use the backhoe down here to move some gravel around. Basically we put a little bit of gravel on all the start holes and uh, the backhoe has always been pretty handy to have down here for this job. Now if we had a track skid steer that would probably get this task but we don't. So if anyone would like to bring one to demo I'd be your guy. Like I've said before we are probably going to be looking for a different brand skid steer this year. I think a different brand I don't know yet. I haven't really been around any of the brand new cats but I don't think much changed. Anybody else have blue blue clay a couple feet down? It's the uh, that's the bad stuff. But hey, that's what we got. We don't have a lot of it, but we do have it on this farm. So right now we're waiting on dad and Brad to string that pipe, so I decided to go ahead and start digging a tile hole. Good ways! Right here. I thought we had a good ways. Get the tile in. He knew that we were about to have to get out and manually shovel in that start hole. Makes sense, he's ready to go now. So I gotta get down here in the hole so that he doesn't pull our pipe and we have enough to get into the main. Ready when you are, Bobby! There it goes. Oh wow. We got a lot of digging to do. So for a couple feet, it looks like we're flooding water uphill. So we're gonna have to cut that out and redo that part. At least it wasn't the whole run. So Dad went to get a transit. We're gonna make sure we're on grade here. Or a laser, I guess, not transit. I guess there's a difference. We had something wrong in the monitor. According to the monitor, we were flowing water that way. So anyway, I think we got it figured out. We're gonna have to just abandon this piece of pipe in the ground. It's probably about $100 a pipe that we're not going to be able to, to use, but I'm glad we figured it out before we played 2,200 feet of it and wasted $1,000 worth of pipe. Abandoning this line, I'm going to cut a small section of this pipe, about a foot, put a cap on it. That way we don't fill our main up with dirt or backflow water into this low spot. Like I say, it sucks that we're having to abandon this line, but I'd much rather abandon this much of it than 2,000 feet of it. I don't think we'd even went 200 feet yet. And if that's the worst that we screw up, so be it. This is also one of the reasons why we do this ourselves. Not saying that all contractors wouldn't have caught this. Most of them would. But we know that we caught it, and we know if we screwed it up whose fault it was. I like that. 
just goes in there like so. So we put one of these green caps in every run. It just keeps uh, dirt from filling it. Just shove this in this tap. I yeah, probably should have made that longer, actually. Mm. I have to fill this up with dirt so it doesn't pull it out of there now. Should have made that longer. That was a dumb tag. It's worried if I didn't build this up and we filled it, it would have messed up that part of the main. We should be good. Definitely put that tap tee at too steep of an angle though. Should have came in more smooth. So it's probably a good thing we had to abandon this one. New star hole. Guess he's just gonna fill that hole with this hole. And then we'll have to move that dirt all the way over there. Over here. Makes no sense to me, but whatever. You may be wondering why this ditch, why we just sit and run our laterals into that. A couple reasons. One, it's not deep enough up there at that spot where we're 50 inches. And two, that would mean every lateral would have an open end. Not the greatest to keep up with. Critters get in those sometimes. At least it sounds good to me like that. Might not have been the reason. I kind of just made that up. Everyone is having a great day, bad time. <laughs> Whew. So I don't think I've shown you guys on camera because the working words will fly not everyone's mouth, but dad punched a hole in the main, uh, digging that new start hole. So now we get to repair that. And well, it's repairable. It's just one of those things that's a lot quicker if you don't have to repair. So I'm going to go pick up a piece of eight inch pipe. Remember how we took the eight inch roll home? <laughs> well, might've been a little premature on that. I'm gonna pick up a piece of, piece of eight inch, it's like a 10 foot stick of it, or, roll, or 10 foot piece that we can splice in. So we have to basically cut out that section that's destroyed, which is about a 30 inch section, and put in two splices. So it's not super fun, but that's what we've gotta do. And it's supposed to rain two inches tomorrow, or an inch tomorrow, or something like that, so I'd really rather do it now. And it's almost, it's almost quitting time. Maybe thinking, well, it's, it's not dark yet. Well, it's not. But there's a real estate auction tonight that we're we're going to and possibly bidding on, so we have about an hour to fix that. Inherited one yard, Abe. So her mother picks her up. So we're coming over here to get a section of that eight inch pipe, and then we will uh, head back to the disaster site. See if I can find the end of a piece here. Might not be long enough. What else we got over here? Huh, there's a... Roll a six, okay. Hmm. Let's put you guys down. Yeah, it should work. Now if we can just find an eight to eight splice. Tempting to just go ahead and drag in this four inch lateral, because, well, we want to get that in since the pipe's already out here on the ground, and we could fix that, I guess, uh, after we get this in here. Apparently they also had some issues after I left, so Dad and Brad are down there trying to fix those issues. I really hope this pipe works and it's not a complete waste. And hopefully we keep, keep on keeping on because we're spinning. He's definitely spinning. Oh, that doesn't work. Good, good. I would have. So this has been a pretty rough first day. Hopefully it gets better. But we're not going to get much pipe installed. 100 feet later. Yep, 2,200 foot run. So we're gonna park these things for now because like I said we have a we have a real estate auction to go to. Whew. In keeping up with today's screw-ups, I had a colossal one. We're about to miss this auction if we don't hurry. I thought the auction was at 6:30, turns out it's at 6 and it's uh 5:30. Gotta roll.